cuisine usually refers to two things. It's a cooking vessel from Morocco, and it's also a method of cooking. I would like to make a chicken tagine for you, and it's really like an iconic dish in Morocco because everywhere you go, whenever you have an occasion or a holiday, people will serve you chicken with preserved lemons and olives. To make it in Morocco, we usually don't brown the meat. Everything goes in there um, and it braises in the same vessel. But to put a twist on it, I'm gonna use a little variation that I use here at the restaurant. And to add more flavor and depth to the sauce, I usually brown the meat, I brown the chicken, um, and I saute the onions way before um, I put them in the tagine. And this is how it's done. Uh, to start with, we're gonna use a cast iron pan that's been heated over medium high. And we're gonna use a little bit of duck fat that goes into the pan. And then into the pan goes sliced onions. And you really just need to wash them because you don't wanna burn them. And just make sure that you extract as much moisture as possible from, from the onions. So at this point, the onions are browned and they're sweated through. And what I'm gonna do now, I'm gonna, I'm gonna add the spices to the onions. First off, we're gonna add some ground ginger, ground coriander, white pepper, ground as well, turmeric, and saffron, and a little bit of salt. You don't wanna go too heavy on the salt because we're gonna finish the dish with preserved lemons, which tend to be salty, so you need to be really cautious. And this step here, as you can see, um, the spices, they get toasted as the onions are cooking as well. For this step, you don't want to cook the spices too much because they will tend to burn. We're just going to remove the onions. And we're going to use the same pan and brown the chicken in it. Again, we're going to put a little bit of duck fat. We put the chicken in, skin side down. It's really important to use a diffuser whenever you use a clay pot or a tagine on an open flame um, so it doesn't crack. Add the onions to the tagine. Add chicken stock. and just bring the whole thing to a simmer. As you can see, uh, the chicken legs have a nice brown color on them, and we're gonna place them directly into the simmering liquid and in onions in the tagine. We're just gonna put the lid on the tagine and place it in a 350 degree oven, and that should cook until the bone comes off the, the flesh, and it will probably take about 45 minutes. Here you go, so you got some beautiful juice right there. You can see the saffron, the turmeric, and all the spices, they mix in with the onions, it's thick. So what we're gonna do right now, we're just gonna pull out the chicken and place it into a plate so we can finish off the sauce. And it really smells wonderful. And already here, we have a really great broth. So what we're gonna do to make it a little bit uh, more complex is just put it back onto a burner and we're just going to finish it off with a little bit of diced preserved lemons but not too much we're going to put in some chopped parsley uh, we're just going to bring that to a simmer that's really good and once this comes to a simmer i'm just going to finish the sauce with some butter Uh, we have about two tablespoons of butter here. So we're just going to emulsify the sauce and make it a little richer. And the last step that we're going to do is we're going to add the um, green olives that have been pitted and return the chicken legs into the tagine. So our tagine here seems to be ready. I'm just gonna check it. 
And as you can see, it's bubbling. Um, the smell is really wonderful, it's very fragrant. If you were to serve this right now, I would put some wedges of preserved lemon rind over the dish and cover it for a couple of minutes just to make sure that the sauce is, is settling down and the preserved lemon is warm. So as you can see, it's an easy dish to make. Um, it's great for entertaining. You can eat it the same day or the following day. If you have the right spices and you just have a little bit of time and preparation, you can have something really exotic and great and so different from um, everyday food that a lot of people will be impressed, including yourself. So enjoy it.